Hello sailors and welcome back to the channel and another episode of As We See It. It is cruise time again. Yes, I know you're probably thinking it was only yesterday that those salty sea bears were on Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady, but it has been 16 days. That sounds a little bit like a confession, doesn't it? Hello sailors, it's been 16 days since my last cruise. So in today's episode, we are boarding Sky Princess for her last four day seacation cruise. She will be doing longer cruises around the British Isles next. Now we arrived in Southampton around 11am and as usual walked towards the shopping centre and the town. We had a look at the cruise ship app to find out where the ship was docked as our paperwork said it would be a Mayflower terminal but we couldn't see it in that port. But it wasn't, it was an ocean terminal. So we headed to the shopping centre and wandered around John Lewis and also used the facilities. I managed to get the last Lego Marvel Avengers advent calendar that they had in stock. Yay! We popped into the new Lego store and I got some minifigures because it is the week after my birthday after all. It was at this point in the day that I received a text from Princess Cruises to let me know that I had been successfully registered for my coronavirus lateral flow test. Then shortly afterwards I came back with your result is negative and we look forward to welcoming you on board. Confused? Yes, I was too. I had done a test that morning and registered the results with the NHS. I showed Paul and we thought this was strange. So after the Lego store it was time to walk through the town and head down to Ocean Terminal so we could board the ship. When we got to Ocean Terminal, we left our luggage at a station and headed towards the terminal building in the COVID testing area. After our passports and COVID vaccination records were checked, we went to the next station. This was a different layout when we had done Britannia. This seemed to work better. We were called to the desk, Paul checked in, and then it was my turn to register. I mentioned about the text and they were quite baffled. It wouldn't let me get checked in and therefore a manager was called over who was completely puzzled about what was happening. One of the girls said maybe Mark's name was used in training today and someone pressed the wrong button. They had to go and check, but there wasn't two of us checking in. Now what would be the co coincidence that we we both had the same name and date of birth. After about doing 15 to 20 minutes of checking, they came back still a little baffled. So we've had this before when there was a crew getting on board that had the same name. They finally found out it was a crew member called Neil McKenzie and they had checked in the wrong McKenzie. Had my cover test done and it took 40 minutes to get the results, but they did track it right the way through to getting on board. Now you can imagine at this point my anxiety levels were through the roof. I must say the staff handled it so well and they did involve us in every part of the problem solving process which was great as it made for a swift resolution. Now the stowaways were probably already on the the ship. Thank God we got this resolved and that he didn't have my medallion key as I would have been pissed. We personalised them before travel. Paul got the UK flag and I got the USA one of mine. We got our medallion sorted and we were ready to go through security and board the ship. This happened really quickly and was efficient although a few people were not listening to anyone as they were in a world of their own trying to get on board. We were greeted with cheers and claps and welcomes from the staff. Now, I don't mind this sometimes as long as it doesn't feel forced. We headed straight for our room to drop off the bags and see what our room was like. We went for a standard inside cabin because it was a steal for this trip and it was a last minute bargain that we just couldn't turn down. We don't always do balconies or suites, you know. The medallion is cool because it unlocks your door as you start to approach, so you just need to push down the handle to open. We met Bonnie, our room attendant. He was very cheerful and fun. Our cases were already in the room waiting for us. Like I said, the stowaways were on the ship before us. We unpacked and watched the safety demonstration video and then made our way to a muster station to get checked in. It took approximately two hours from dropping off our luggage to get into our room. This would have been quicker for sure if we hadn't have the you have already been checked in for your COVID test situation. We went to the buffet to find something to eat as we were quite hungry. After filling our bellies with food, we left the bistro, walked further along deck 16 and took her place for the sail away party. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Sky Princess. 
We have been sailing for a couple of weeks now, a couple of three days, a couple of four days. You are the last seacation of the season. Is this going to be the best one? While the Sail Away party was in full swing, we decided that we would go down to the Lotus Spa and have a look at the Enclave, which we had booked for the entire trip prior to boarding. We went back up to the room to get changed and we'd go back down to the spa and use the facilities. After that, it was time to head back to the room, shower and get ready for dinner. Now we headed down to our main dining restaurant, which was Celio. As we remembered, you had to go up a deck, across and then back down again. There are some dead ends due to the design of the ship, so this can be a little frustrating to say the least. We got seated in the main dining room. Now, I know that everyone on the ship has been fully vaccinated and tested before boarding. However, I couldn't believe how close the tables were. As part of the health and safety protocols, we were asked to wear a mask and less seated and to maintain physical and social distancing. But this certainly wasn't. It was less than a metre and a bit from the next table to us. We ordered our food and drinks and then waited for the culinary delights to appear. Now I think the servers in the restaurant are having a seacation themselves. We ordered and it took 30 minutes for starters to come and then we sat with those empty plates in front of us for another 20 minutes. Next up is steak pie. Now I don't have high hopes for it from what I've seen around the restaurant. I think I don't know why we upgrade to ultimate dining on other cruise ships. After dinner we headed up to the buffet area to grab a tea and to see what movies was going to be playing as part of Movies Under the Stars. It had been a long day of travelling and anxiety levels were high so we decided that an early night was called for. We headed back to the room and got ready for bed. So this is where we say goodnight and we'll see you again tomorrow.